all you space engineers out there, Commander Kingfish here, and it is day 24 here on Planet 26. Uh, so last episode, I uh, got quite a bit done uh, here on the structure. Uh, I got the uh, docking bay extended out for the grinder ship, and so we've got that all in. Uh, I have, uh, I created a... Uh, uh, platform so that I could get up and into the ship but I also uh, learned or figured out that I could also get to it from down here so that's not a big deal uh, I got uh, some lighting in and that's what I want to get done today I want to finish getting this docking bay finished uh, which I have to put uh, these beam uh, girders in uh, with lighting so that this part of the, the area, the production area, is lighted. Uh, I also need to get railings in up and around here so you don't fall off the edge along through here. The other thing I wanted to do today was take out the grinder and fly over and start salvaging. Hence the uh, Intergalactic Mining and Salvage Company. So that was kind of the idea behind uh, this build, is to be able to salvage. And that's what we're going to do uh, to get that done today. So uh, I uh, let me go ahead and get started on that. And as I am getting this further along, I will uh, catch back up with you here in just a little bit. All right, I have finished at least the grinders docking area I've got the lights all in I got those beams done I've got the rails up and so as you can see I have uh, got those beams done and across and I really kind of like the looks of of this area up here uh, it has that industrial look with the uh, large uh, containers uh, at least that large container and the industrial assemblers uh, so uh, it's all connected up so I'm pretty happy with that now I think it is time that we take out the grinder let's go see if we can uh, start grinding down on that old base and so let's uh, come up here we'll actually use this that I built and we should be able to hop over here and come in on the back way now if I can remember how I've got everything set up on here uh, let's go ahead and turn those grinders off uh, <clears throat> I need to turn the batteries on because they're set to charge. We can turn the thrusters all on. And now we should be able to unlock. There we go. And we should be able to pull off and fly out of here. All right. So if we go into the view here, so we can kind of see how we're flying along here. So, uh, the grinder ship, we haven't really used it yet. And so let's go back inside. And we should be able to know when we're getting full. So we should be able to start dismantling this. And I think what we'll do is we'll start over on that old ship that is. Uh, over here and uh, let's see if we can't see what we can do to start taking that out so alright the grinder ship works pretty good actually I've used it before in other so let's uh, go ahead and turn the grinders back on and so it's a matter of getting over here and positioning yourself. So we'll just start right up over here. And we should be able to 
we'll start uh, taking all of this out. There we go. All right, we're actually salvaging. kind of see the blue bar down below it is uh, ever so steadily filling up and a look at it from above you can kind of see what it's doing I like, I like from being inside, I kind of see where we're at. So we're gonna end up with a lot of steel, that's for sure. But that's okay, because we'll, we can use a lot of steel, and kind of the idea behind this is that we're salvaging so that we can send this stuff back to the home base, wherever that might be. Side. I can come around like this, and let's uh, kind of zoom in just a little bit, kind of move forward. And let's see if we can't take a screenshot here. Alright, I think that's going to look pretty good. Alright, let's go back inside. Let's get our stuff back up. It's a lot faster than grinding by hand, that's for darn sure. And if you look at our power, we've got a good hour's worth, so uh, we should be able to get a full, full cargo before we start running out of power. tested this out before so we shouldn't run into with a weight problem either. Uh, this should be powerful enough to handle handle all of the weight that we're going to end up with. Yeah, there's, there's a lot to salvage here, so All right, I tell you what, I'm going to keep salvaging away here, and as I'm just, once I'm getting close to being full, I'll catch back up with you all here in just a little bit. Okay, we are getting close to being full in our inventory. We 
still have uh, that connector to fill, which won't take much. The, the two grinders, and we, you can see we're almost full in the large cargo container. And in the responsiveness of the ship, you can start to feel that we are starting to get pretty heavy. So let's, let's go ahead and uh, just do a little bit of grinding on this large. This will probably, uh, should just about fill us up. Let's see how we're doing. Uh, the connector's full. And we just got the two... The two grinders to fill. And let's go ahead and just start on this other one. This should just about get moved over here. Let's see how we're doing. Got just a little bit more here. Might as well take what we can. Grinder's about full. I think we are just about full here. One of the one of the things that you'll find though, once it gets full, this ship uh, becomes pretty. Uh, well, it's a little more unstable. So let's take a look. Not quite full there, but that's okay. Grinder 3 is full. Uh, everything else is full, so we can start heading back to the base. Now, the only thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you're staying fairly level with everything. And if we hop outside of the ship, we can see that we're fairly level, I think. Uh, we actually need to bring it down a little bit. So let's go back inside. And you've got your bar right, uh, your guiding system right there. So let's uh, start turning this thing around. And then we can start heading back to the base. Just keeping it ever so level. And we've got about, okay, there we go. And we've got about 20 minutes. So again, that's more than enough to come over here and get a full load of materials and make it back to the base. Right, which is not too far away right here. So we just need to kind of be careful. We don't want to get too much speed built up. Because it does take a bit more to slow this thing down. We can go ahead and turn those off. No sense in using up energy in that. Alright. Now, the real trick is coming back and getting getting backed in, which shouldn't be too much of a problem, actually. I'm trying to be a little bit careful. I'm not trying to get too much speed built up. Get leveled out here. Come in. We'll swing around. Let's see if we can get turned around 
here. And then this is where the backup camera comes in real handy. So we should be able to start backing up. Get lined up here. over to charge and as you can also see I've got this set to drain up drain all so all of the inventory in the ship is going into the large container so let's turn those over and that's off and then if we go into our inventory uh, let's uh, just bring up grind And you should be able to see that uh, stuff is steadily disappearing. The grinder 2 is empty. Uh, grinder 3 is now empty. Uh, it should be starting to work on the others. It should be. Uh, It should be starting empty, but let's uh, go ahead and get out of the rear view camera. And uh, that would be, well, actually, yeah, there we go. Then uh, we can uh, go ahead and get out of the ship. Okay, a successful run. All right, so I think the next thing that we need to start working on is, well, some more of the base. We should have more than enough parts now to be able to continue to uh, expand out. Let's go check our uh, task board and we may need to update that obviously we can see a lot of work that needs to be done out here and uh, I did notice earlier that uh, we have really uh, accumulated a lot of ore so we can see that that's all piled up and if we go to our refinery we can see that it's just really working away. It's got that cobalt, uh, the magnesium that it's grinding away on. And so it's uh, really chunking away. So we may need to, and maybe that's the next thing we'll do, is start working on this area, put in another refinery so that uh, that can double up the uh, production. And uh, so that means we need to kind of just reassemble this we can kind of grind this down, um, put the put the new refinery in right here, and then just reattach it all, and then that should take care of all of that. Anyway, let's go over here and look at the task list and see what we got over here. All right, so let's see. 
Uh, we did get the nickel drone set up. I don't have it uh, being an automated uh, like we do for the cobalt, but that's okay. I don't think we need to worry about that too much now. Uh, so we'll mark that as being checked off. I still got to build a control room. The assembler building we can. Uh, uh, so yeah, let's let's go ahead and hop in here. Let's uh, mark this. Build the salvage ship. We've done that. And that one's done. Uh, set up the nickel drone. We can check that off. What the hell is going on here? There we go. Now let's do that. There we go. All right. Uh, I still have to build the door sensors. I think I still have to put the beacon light on top of this. Uh, lights, signage on dock. We still need to do that. The assembler building. That is... We can kind of mark that off as being done. All right. So let's... Uh, there we go. We got some check marks done. All right, so I'll tell you what, I am going to get busy uh, over there on that refinery and uh, I will uh, catch back up with you here in just a little bit. All right, well, I got that uh, other industrial refinery in place and we so this is all connected back up. So if we hop up here, and let's see, where can we get access to this thing? Uh, all right, oh, I know where we can look at it. Let's just go right to here. And let's go inventory, let's go refinery. So there's the first one that's been working away. Uh, it's got cobalt. This one has cobalt in it, which the... If we go to the large containers, uh, we can see that uh, this container has a ton of cobalt and iron. I moved the stone up into uh, production. I actually I should what I should do is move this over there, and then the cobalt can uh, get grounded down. Uh, but once the large refinery, uh, let's uh, get back to the refinery. So once these start. Once this one starts getting down, it's going to clean up all of this. And so it should be starting to... Uh, we can see that... Uh, let's see, what is going on here? It's growing. Yeah, it's still grinding down this cobalt. And putting that in over here. Same here. This is still grinding the cobalt down. Which should also be pushing it over to the uh, next large container, which would be this one right here. This should be the storage system for all of the uh, refined materials here. And then this is the gravel sifter, which is taking care of any excess gravel, which right now it hasn't been grinding stone, so there's none to, to take out of there. Uh, so, yeah. All right. So what is next for today? I say uh, st start working some more on this. Since we have plenty of supplies, we can start building this platform out. I think I at least want to bring it out to here. You know, level it off, 
and then uh, kind of build, start uh, maybe uh, enclosing, enclosing it. So that's uh, that's what we're going to start on next. Uh, I guess I'm going to need to grab a bunch of steel. So once uh, once I get a little bit more done on this, I will uh, catch back up with here just a little bit. Well, I think it's about time to start wrapping things up here today. Uh, we got quite a bit accomplished. I finished the uh, assembly and docking station uh, facility. Uh, looks pretty good. I got the uh, safety barriers up all the way around. Uh, we actually went and did a uh, grinder run and got to take the ship out for that. Uh, I also got some, actually let's come down here. I started getting some signage up. Uh, this is a landing area, I put that up and then I put uh, a post up in a, uh, here so that uh, there's caution. Uh, gotta keep the safety up around here. I also uh, came over here now one of the problems I'm kind of running into with my signage is I don't have uh, surfaces to attach it to. But I did get a sign up there that it's authorized personnel only. Uh, we're still in a construction site right here. So I got a couple of signs up here. I also got the second refinery in and it is grinding away. Uh, I put a set of stairs in here so that uh, I don't have to keep trying to walk around and uh, so yeah so that's all in right here I also put a temporary charging station in over here because my little buggy was starting to it was down to one one green light left on the battery as you can see over here so it's already back up to uh, <clears throat> two uh, green lights because I don't want to let that run down because I think that was my original uh, drop ship. So <clears throat> if I uh, let that uh, power run out in it, I think it would uh, reset and go away. So <clears throat> didn't want that to happen. So we got the charging station in right there. Uh, I think that's about it that I got accomplished today. Actually, we got quite a bit done. So, uh, I think next episode we'll continue to work out, work the base out here. And, uh, I think, uh, we're starting to get close to thinking about uh, getting over and setting up a uranium mine. Uh, so we can start getting uranium. And, because one of the goals was to get all of the resources that's available on this planet which is just about all of them and so we have to we, we've got lucky and found the uranium uh, I think we've gotten close to getting all of the others set up and bringing those in uh, and then uh, being able to salvage and then the finally the last step of this uh, season is to get a orbital uh, base set up so that uh, materials could be sent up to the orbital base uh, with the pretense that uh, the, the mining and salvage company then can pick up those resources and haul those back to the main uh, main station or the main planet. So that's kind of the ultimate goal. Alright, I think with that we're going to call it a day. So if you like these videos, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. And uh, please subscribe. That really helps the channel. All right, all you space engineers out there, keep your heads low, keep building away, and don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.